As well as being perfect for live use, and I know that as I get older, not needing to carry a heavy amp around is a big, big bonus, the Line 6 Helix family are ideal for recording either in a large pro studio or a modest home studio. Now you don't need to play loud, you can record authentic sounding HX guitar tones direct without waking up the whole street. And HX modelling is the technology that Line 6 used to accurately recreate the sound and feel of classic guitar and studio gear. And this process even involves modelling the individual components that affect the sound in those classic pieces of gear. And it's gear that we all wish we could afford, but even if we could afford to own them, they aren't always that easy to find or to keep in reliable working order. So having authentic sounding versions of those classic and iconic setups at your fingertips not only saves you a lot of money, but also saves a lot of time setting them up. And time is very important when creativity is flowing. All of the Helix family come packed with over 60 HX guitar and bass amps and over 100 effects. Now if you add to that 37 HX cabinet models complete with 16 microphone types and mic placement options, and you're sure to find the right sound for any session. Helix LT, Floor and Rack offer multiple ways of getting your sounds into your door or even to tape. Now the obvious way would be to use one of the many analog outputs. Now all Helix hardware has the option of either quarter inch or XLR outputs, but if you prefer to stay digital, you could offer the SP diff out on the floor on the rack, or use the AES EBU digital connection found on all three products. And all members of the Helix family will work at sample rates up to 96K. So let's quickly record a bass track, and for this I'm just going to plug straight into my interface using the quarter inch output. And I'm going to use the SV Beast bass amp model into an 8x10 cab with a 47 condenser mic. And I'm also going to add some octave pitch effects. Now for this next guitar part, I'm going to record in a slightly different way. So like many of the Line 6 products, you also have the option of using Helix as a USB computer interface. This means I'm now streaming the Helix audio to and from my recording software via the USB cable. I'll also now be monitoring back the audio from the Helix output. Now this also means that I can reamp my guitar tones. Now that means I can record dry guitar sounds straight from the guitar strings with no processing. I can then change amps and effect settings after I've recorded my part. And I'm still going to be listening to and playing to a full Helix tone, I'm just not having to commit to that sound just yet. And I can still record the sound I'm listening to alongside this dry part. This way is just going to give me options and a get out of jail card if I realise later that I've not chosen the ideal guitar sound. But it does require a little bit of setting up. Inside Helix you'll see that the reamp channel in the global settings page is set to USB channel 7. I'm going to set Cubase to record the audio from USB channel 7 and also play back to USB channel 7. When I plug the guitar into Helix, I'll still hear my preset, in this case a J45, through my main outputs, but Cubase will just be recording the sounds of the strings. When I finish the take, its output will play to USB channel 7. Set the Helix presets input to USB channel 7, and the sound of my strings are now played back through the Helix preset. Now I can tweak my preset whilst listening to my actual performance in the track. I'm not committed to a particular amp or effect until the final mix. And when I've decided on my preset, I just record the sound from the Helix back onto an audio track, in this case from USB 1 and 2. As you can see, there are lots of possibilities for recording Helix hardware by using analog outs, digital outs or reamping. And that brings us nicely to Helix Native. So Helix Native lets you record all of these great HX amp and effect sounds, but all in the box. You just add it as an insert on your audio track. Now it's just like the reamping that we just talked about, but the audio is never going to leave your Mac or your PC. 
And you can use multiple instances of Helix Native, and it isn't just limited to guitar and bass. You could try using Helix Native studio quality effects to process keyboards, synths, drums, drum loops, vocals, or anything else. You just need to make sure that the input gain isn't too hot. Native will act like a real amp and become more overdriven the more signal you send it. Check out the Helix Native Overview video for more information, and Line 6 have got some great deals on Native if you already own Helix hardware. Or if you just want to try a free, fully functional 15-day trial, so you can play along with these great HX amp models yourself, if you head over to line6.com forward slash Helix. So there's lots of great options for recording your tracks that just weren't around in the old days. So don't waste this opportunity to get recording, and thank you very much for watching.